Ooh, there's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, we got two words for you. Cauliflower bagel. Chef and owner Brandon uh, Swallow is here from Boss Bagel. Good afternoon, sir. How Good are afternoon. you? Good afternoon. I'm excellent. All right. So cauliflower bagels. Mm -hmm. I've, we've had cauliflower pizza crust before. Yeah. Um, what do they taste like? Fiona? They're so good. Really? Wow. But mm. it tastes like a regular bagel or different? A little different. A little different? A little okay. different, but good. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So how do you make this? How would you come up with the idea? Uh, the idea came from the pizza crust phenomenon mm -hmm. that I've been experiencing. And uh, I, I just wanted to be first in the country to do it. Okay. So I, I don't even know of any other shop that's doing this. So perfect if uh, you know, want to be gluten-free and no carbs and all that, Absolutely. Right? It's, it's very low carb. How do we get started here? All right. So the, the most difficult part of it is you have to purchase cauliflower heads. Right. And we grind them. But you, can, you didn't have a grinder. You could do it in a Cuisinart at home until they're just minced up real fine. And then you poach them or steam them or you could microwave them until mm -hmm. they're tender. And then the difficult part comes where you have to wring that puree, that mash, out until it's as dry as possible, which is what you see here. Okay. So go ahead and dump it into the bowl. This in the whole bowl. Thing? Yep. We have okay. four eggs in that bowl. And right. then we have a little bit of almond flour, some coconut flour. So you got to have the flour here to be somewhat yep. of a binder for Absolutely. it all, too, right? We have a little bit of rice flour, minimal mm -hmm. amount, and yeast for leavening purposes. And then, but this doesn't have to proof like regular bread, though, right? No, nope, okay. not at all. It pro proofs in the oven when you bake it. Low milk, uh, low moisture skim milk mozzarella, okay. shredded, and Parmesan shredded. Doesn't need salt, doesn't need pepper, and it's already seasoning due to the actual cheese. Seasons the bagel itself. So with all these cheeses in here and everything like that, the calories are still there, obviously. Absolutely. It's okay. low carb, high fat. Right. And you're not making a ton of these right now, but you're selling out left. You I know, sell out every day, two dozen a day. They're selling like hotcakes. Yeah, selling like they are selling stuff. like hotcakes. And okay. so you mash this up like you're doing like that, right. and you end up with this uh, kind of a gluey-like mixture, almost like a Play-Doh clay kind of mixture. Now, you usually uh, boil the bagels and then cook them in the wood fire and all that, That's but you correct. don't do that with these, right? No, you can't do that with these. These can't go in, in any water. Okay. So the challenge that we had next is how do we make them look like a bagel? Right. It'd be easy to do a pizza crust with it because you can just smear it out, but that was the next challenge. So okay, I want you to take see, some of the dough. Say this is all mixed together here yeah, and fill this slam up. Slam it into the cup. Mm -hmm, okay. And then flip the cup over onto a surface and then when you're going to bake them you want to spray them with uh some type of a spray there we go and that's a really big one <laughs> usually we do half the size but yeah. hey everything's it's, bigger in texas right here we go it's a double size monday so that's right okay so this would get yep, mushed down smash and bake. it a little bit okay Look, you know what's Put going on stick, All right. a, stick your finger in the middle make a hole make like a, a bagel, like a bagel oh, that is a it. nice that's size okay. bagel and if you want to crust it you brush it with a little egg wash and then you could crust it with sesame you could crust it with everything you could crust it with jalapenos whatever you want and then you can do sandwiches out of this too right? absolutely so people come into the store okay they already have them made up and then uh, we make a sandwich out, on them, out of them. Or you can have them as is, or you can have them from, from the toaster. So we toast them. And this sandwich that I'm going to make you is called the Fancy Pig. Okay. And along with these bagels, uh, how many different flavors do you have of bagels and schmear and everything else? We have 16 varieties of, uh, of bagels, and we have 29 schmears. And then we always carry a couple specials every single day. And then what's, what's in that schmear? Yeah. Oh, on the sandwich right there. Pesto, pesto is the schmear. pesto. Mm -hmm. Pesto Ooh. schmear. That's whole milk really mozzarella. Good. We got fresh spinach. And then here's the kicker right here. It's a one-year-age prosciutto ham. Ooh. Yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> uh, you're going to have that on a sandwich. on your face. This is called the fancy pig. I know you're going to want some, so we've got to cut it in half. I don't want any fights to break out here. No, no, no. Just give me my half. <laughs> All right. And Boss Bagel Absolutely. is right over there in Sunset Thank Ridge. Girl. Shopping area. Right and under the marquee. One of those. Let's taste this. Mmm. Mmm. A pesto oh, schmear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have mm -hmm. tofu schmears if you're worried about that. So we have, we hit every single dietary issue you could imagine okay. in the store. Mm -hmm. That is a sandwich that, yeah, yeah, you need to get. Yeah. I'm on <laughs> it. I'm on it. Brandon, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Boss Bagel. It's always Again, a over there at Sunset Ridge, if you want more information. Mm -hmm. On them, and boy, you get one of those warm bagels with schmear on, or one of these cauliflower bagels. Go to salive.com and click on the <laughs> as seen on SA.